All right, we're back. Play date episode one one. That's eleven for the folks at home. <laughs> for the non visual for, for the ones that can't count. What is up with a continental breakfast? I mean, what continent is that from? <laughs> <laughs> How long were you planning on starting it that way? No, I actually don't. I was gonna. That, say, rem- that reminds I was me. Say that last episode, and then I panicked because you passed. waited a week to say that. No. <laughs> I, I kind of was genuinely curious about it and then I realized it sounded like, like a Jerry Seinfeld joke but like what is up with the continental breakfast that's idiot with a continental pre- what is that actually though why do they call it that I don't know my only knowledge of it is from that Key and Peele sketch where he's like but but uh, from France like each thing I guess is from a different continent oh is that and they say continental I don't every continental breakfast that I've been to has been has like, been like a, wa- a loose waffle maker and yeah. like Gross eggs, gross eggs, and like the and like the um, the oatmeal is caked to the yeah. end. Speaking of oatmeal, wait, is that just the same thing as a breakfast buffet? No, nah. it's, it's like same. shittier. Yeah, for some reason, it's always it's like worse. just <laughs> continental breakfast to me is like just like pastries and like probably not even eggs, honestly. No, nope. It's like it's like, it's and like yogurt. anything that can fit in those in those clear okay. cupboards yeah. that yeah, you like yeah. pull up and you like pull it out with tongs. Yeah. Speaking of oatmeal, speaking of oatmeal, started smoking weed again, and uh, nice. and last night um, I was in bed and was just like w- looking for a, a good snack, mm-hmm. and I tried to make my first knee jerk reaction was pasta, so I threw the pasta in and I was like, I didn't wait for it to boil, which was a rookie move. What? And so I was just like, it'll get soft enough that I can like jam the rest of this like spaghetti like down in there. And it didn't, so I was just waiting for it to get soft, and it it drooped over and caught on fire because I wasn't <laughs> looking. <laughs> so the, the spaghetti like fell under the pot, caught on fire. Everyone's asleep in my house, and I'm trying to like put Not out this you, like hopefully no. <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to put out this like small house fire oh, without anyone last noticing night? last night, and uh, and then I settled on oatmeal because I couldn't set. You just threw it fire. all out. Well, I shoved it down the disposal. Wait, what do you do? Oh. Did you just dump water on it, or? No, I just blew it out until oh. it went out. Okay, so it wasn't that big. Okay, it was like probably this big. Okay, oh. Jesus, it's kind of scary. <laughs> did did we you have guys? A- <laughs> 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 you don't have to l- linger on this. But did you guys hear about the fire on the ten last night? Yeah. Also, I is got that a- that video I saw online? Yeah. It melted a it melted a fire truck. Crazy. Brian told me he said. Uh, the line on the way to work this morning was he has the to, line on the way to work. <laughs> no, no, like the line that he used on our way to work, like to me, the line. Oh, I thought, were, I thought that's what you were describing traffic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. The line to work. I like that. <laughs> yeah. He, that. yeah, the line was, a, was so long. It's a huge, it was a huge <laughs> sorry, line to get to work. This morning. Yeah, like everyone's going to your work. Okay, sorry. Yeah, that's funny. he was like, um, he was like, I feel like fire trucks shouldn't melt. Like those <laughs> should be like the one things that are like melt proof. But yeah, I guess like. It, you must. They must have parked it like right in the middle of the fire. Like it's not like it, fire trucks can be close to a fire. This yeah. is an electric conversation, by the way. But yeah. but no, it was. Um, no it, the okay. notification went off while I was uh, I was watching One Tree Hill on my phone, propped up on my bedside table, and I was kind of falling asleep to it. And then it went off, and it was the loudest. What did they had, like Amber Alert being like, "Do not go on this highway. It's on fire." Did you get an Amber Alert? Um, no, I, I was asleep. I, think. I didn't. I don't think I got. Was that, that like ten ten? How early did you go to bed? I went to bed very early last night. I actually I've went been to bed an late early, last night. an early sleeper recently. Wow, you look well rested. Yeah, thanks. You don't I, seem as grumpy as usual. I had a great weekend. I told you guys it was pretty wholesome. I have been I haven't drank alcohol in like a week. I'm taking a break. So that's it. Me and Lauren are both on that wave. Yeah, yeah. Almost, can't say the same. Almost at three weeks. <laughs> cannot say know. the same. I don't know if you do this on purpose, but every time I come home from a trip. The first day I see Lauren, she's wearing a Maine shirt. Yeah, does that have anything to do with that? She lines just... it up with her travel schedule. No, I just you, she also I don't wore... have a lot of clothes. So. She also <laughs> worked the day after the tragedy. That was weird, Lucy. and I had no idea. Yeah, that was nah, weird. you were like, wait, was it before the day after you got caught, or the day after it happened? The day, the day after, after happened, Lauren got caught. Oh, that's fucked up then. <laughs> or maybe like I feel like once they catch a guy, it's like solidarity. But no, I had no idea. Um, I feel like you can definitely still be on their side before they catch well, it. Well, but if you're wearing that, then it's like, she's like a suspect. She's like rub- <laughs> rubbing it in like, their face. It's like, oh, what is that mean person doing here? Okay. Uh, Let's well, listen to some pitches. No, I was about to say oh, something oh, earlier. Sorry. sorry. But then Lauren, remember when Lauren and I said something at the same time? Yep. What were we talking about? Um, oh, you were about to say something that I interrupted. 
Oh, correct. thanks, Lauren. Correct. Thanks for <laughs> well, the no, reminder. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't interrupt. No, no, no you're right. You're right. you're right. You're right. You couldn't be more right, actually. What was I um, going to say, though? We were talking about... You had just said... Being high. We were talking about the 10. No, you had... No, that was before. You made a fire with your... Pasta. Oatmeal. He made oatmeal. I was high watching One Tree Hill. The Amber Alert went off. No, it was before the Amber Alert. It was hit. oatmeal. It was before. It was a, the Continental Breakfast. It was oatmeal. Brian was in a line. <laughs> it aligned to work. <laughs> no, no. It was before the fire. It was before the fire. Well... I don't know. I mean, we weren't talking about much. Oh, the mayor of Chicago, maybe? <laughs> no, that was before this episode, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> All right. It was sick. Whatever. I it bet was. it was awesome, dude. It'll come back to you. Don't worry. We should send Will back in here like later to like <laughs> at to like ad lib all of our parts. Dude, what was it? Oh um, man. anyway. All right. Let's listen to some pictures. It'll come back to you. My grandmother used oh. to say my grandmother used to say, like, if you want to remember something, you have to you have to stop trying to remember it. If you if you love something, <laughs> Set Let it go. Set it free. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That saying always bums me out. I know. It actually yeah. is sad. Why would I set it free? I exactly. love it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... The fuck would I let it out of my sight? I'm in love with this thing. <laughs> See, my... I have the opposite where I'm just not going to be able to think about anything. All right. Ready? Just mental clear. Yep. All right. Mental clear. <clears throat> All right. Pitch number one. Um, oh, my man. My vision's a little blurry because I have... You don't need your notebook yet. Oh yeah, someone, <laughs> I was telling Rusty. Someone commented. Know, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I told you you just put the, to put that away. No, I'm, I'm gonna actually just go home. Well, someone so. commented and they were like, "What? What are they reading from those books in one of the clips?" Yeah, was, I know. I think like people think that we like like these are books that have sayings. I've gotten a few DMs that like, they're like, "Where'd you get that sayings book?" Yeah, yeah. The, the font. Looks someone like actually it. said that. Like, where'd you get that? Where do you guys get that book of sayings? <laughs> like they think. That, Oh, they think like it's that. like a mystical one of one copy. Yeah, it's like the Half Blood Prince Shock like, diary full thing. Of, that yeah, we're yeah. Just like, um, <laughs> all right, should we get yeah. into it? Yep. Yeah. Pitch submissions. Um, okay, this one is from Pat Taylor on Instagram. He his pitch is called the Notaflix. Um, Can I just ask you a question? What does he have a buzz cut and a mustache? Why? No, nope, neither. Can I see him? He's, Pat re- Taylor? he's wearing an or- uh, red sweater. Does he look like nice something's sweater. up with him? No, he looks pretty cool. He's in the mountains. What do you mean? I just, I know one. And he's wearing sunglasses. Okay. Nope, different guy. I know one of them. Nope. Okay. Not that buzzed right. up man. Um, no to flicks. You ever been watching a movie slash show and you missed something important <laughs> because you were occupied on TikTok slash Instagram, et cetera? Yes. <clears throat> Literally every day. Every episode of TV I've ever watched. Right. Mm-hmm. Then that. Ne- Notaflex is for you. Since our attention spans are now that of a goldfish, yep. we need a way to make sure we can comfortably scroll without the risk of mi- missing a crucial part in the plot of a movie or TV show. Notaflex is an app that will send a notification to your phone when something important is about to happen. <laughs> so you're never left confused or having to rewatch. So it's like, so like you're, you're going to want to see this and then you look up. It'll be like... Because some parts I feel like don't matter. Well, this is my whole... This is kind of my whole thing about regular TV. It's like, that's why the, like the commercial breaks you get to to use your phone. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I... Th- I bl- you just do? I turned my phone off. Oh. Okay. That's he remi- Pat reminded me like, yeah. just, I don't need it right be now. Be present. Um, it's so s- hard. Samsung had... It shouldn't be hard for guys who are doing a podcast <laughs> i know dude i just i can't watch tv without also playing retro bowl on my phone i'm trying to get better at it it's hard mine's uh mine's um coffee golf yeah or clash of clans do you see when i got six in yeah golf? okay Sorry. lauren this isn't gonna mean anything to you mm-hmm. will did maybe the most impressive so like <laughs> like someone got seven on coffee golf it's like this little golf game we play every day thanks I got new nails, so I don't want to chip them. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's this little game we play called Coffee Golf. If you don't play it, check it out. It's a great little game. I think we've talked about it before, but like someone got seven before, and we were like, that's insane. Yeah. And then Will sent a screenshot of him getting six, which is basically, I think it's a, four, a hole in one every hole except for one. Yeah. It was, I grinded for like three hours on the plane. I actually looked at my, I've been looking at my screen time, or I looked yesterday, like my my game phone game usage is now my top. I spent ten and a half hours playing this this little football game last week. Oh my god! I had a day on. I think on Same. Sunday I had thirteen hours, which is just to- yeah. That's terrible. I w- I woke up. I don't think anyone's ever been more hungover than I was yesterday. This was Saturday, I think, and oh. I went to I went to 
breakfast uh, or no, I went to lunch with my mom and we went did some shopping. She got me some pants, which I'm pretty excited about. And then I went into my room and I uh, was on my phone for the rest of the eternity. Feels like the right thing to do. Yeah. Wait, how far is uh, Maine from Boston? I think she drives like probably like an hour and 20. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's not bad. Not bad. Where I mean, we, like, where the, we live in Maine is like very southern. Got yeah. It. So it's like right by the border. Um, I do want to say this about Pat's, about Pat's pitch. Notaflix? Notaflix. So Samsung, if I'm remembering correctly, and maybe Lauren can Google this, Samsung came out with a TV like a while ago where like if you looked away, it would pause. Really? So it was like you could like... No, but I don't want that. No, not at all. It was a horrible invention. That's why you like don't see them. Look up like TV that pauses when you look away. I looked up Samsung, Samsung. Samsung. (laughs) Automatic TV pause. Okay, that was good. That was a good search. Good. I might have four hey, minutes. That's though. a good query. A lot of good keywords. <laughs> a lot of good key. A lot of. She covered a lot of ground in yeah, one sentence. I felt like that was like best bang for your buck. Thank word you. word. Um, yeah. I'm not seeing this. Um, Samsung Smart TV. Something. Whatever. What, Scrap it. Who, who Just cares? buy one. Get the, company, <laughs> get the company card on there. We'll see if it works when it gets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. That, I no I like flex, that was great. I literally had this. I I've lately been watching. Well, like yesterday, I watched a lot of Survivor. Yeah, and when I was playing this game on my phone, which is like Survivor is one of those shows where it's like you got to be dialed in. Well, you got to be dialed in for like very specific moments to understand what's happening. But it's also like during the challenges, sometimes it's like a little boring. So just like play the games or like there is some fluff, and then yeah. there's but then you miss something pivotal, and then you got to go back. So I rewind it like ten times. Well, I want cool. Netflix. Yeah, if your fo- yeah your phone's like synced up, so it knows it's like hey, look up, look yeah, up from your phone. The season that Will's watching right now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Kagayan. Oh, never mind. The season that Will was watching before Kagayan was Cook Island. Cook Island. Yeah, I watched it. Se- they separate these people by race, Lauren. Yeah, it's Survivor. Wait, this is in they, Survivor. Yeah, this they is like start with four <laughs> tribes. It's black, white, Asian, and Hispanic. <laughs> Isn't that insane? Yeah. And yeah. there's like pretty, pretty like believable theories that they like kind of rigged the game because the it, it started to shape up like the white people were going to win and they're like this would be the worst yeah, we can't message we, we can't like the white have. people would lose well they did yeah they did yeah they did lose. it was all it, by the end of it, it was all <laughs> asian or latin american all right let's listen to the second pitch <laughs> <laughs> let's to say, we spent a lot of time on that one <laughs> Uh, dude, okay. I feel I I don't feel in any rush today. I don't, I don't either. either. Let's make it a fucking Let's long. Make it like one. a four hour episode, because <laughs> then we can just go home. After this. <laughs> oh my god! All right, what do we got, Lauren? All right, thank you, Pat. That was great. That was amazing. Next, we have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I feel like I'm not breathing. Do you ever feel like that? Dead people be like <laughs> dead. <laughs> Okay, or zomb- or zombie, zombie, person, zombie, no. trying to convince you that he's alive. <laughs> or I think I'm not breathing. First that guy much. to die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Is anyone else not breathing? Anyone else not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. This is from Tulula. Her Ooh. IG is Tully dot button. Tulula, what's up, girl? Is yeah. I guess that's a common. She is that says. A common name? I've, Tulula? I've heard it. It's I know. I went to college name. with someone named that. I I put it on my sandwiches. <laughs> what? Oh, it's Cholula. What? Never mind. Okay, all right. I was like, what bad, is bad that? joke? Horrible joke. Sorry, We're gonna cut it, it was out. Funny. All right, Cholula, you have a beautiful name. I like it. Um, howdy, guys. I have a business pitch for you. Have you ever been driving and listening to a mean? I don't know when it's mean, but to a mean playlist, and just as you arrive, a great song comes on. Immediately, you're struck with a conundrum. <laughs> do you get out feeling unsatisfied or do you yep. stay and let the song play? Now, with time travel, <laughs> time to travel, you don't have that problem anymore. Time to travel links your music app of choice with your navigation system to curate a perfectly uh, timed playlist. Wait, that's really good. Wait, wait, wait. Really awesome. Not done. I, okay. Sorry. <laughs> the app gets live updates about traffic flow or wrong turns to pick songs from your chosen playlist so that you always arrive as a song is ending. Time travel can also add a buffer zone at the end of your travels to give you time to gather any belong- belongings before leaving <laughs> the car. <laughs> How did you get uh, caught up on that one? I don't know. That was a crazy one. Time travel on. also allows you to choose an arrival song so you always end your journey on yep. a high. Hop up out the bed. I love that. Turn my swag on. No, it would be, uh, it'd be In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. Yeah. 
but you show up red as the drum solo hits. People are like, fuck. It kind of depends where you're going. Fuck, is he goaded? Wait, that's... Yeah, fuck, great. He might be goaded. Um, I think that's awesome. Dude, these people are so creative. It's so... It makes me feel so Like, creative. just honestly, if there's no, if nothing else in this world, the fact that we've created a small forum for these kinds of <laughs> ideas is really beautiful. <laughs> um, my sister and I used to, like, every time she was driving me to the airport to, like... If we were going separate ways and, like, she was staying in Maine or whatever... If she was like driving, we would like like listen to in the air tonight as we were pulling in, and then like as the drum solo like hit, I would just like give her a dap. We'd leave. That's awesome. <laughs> this is the last time we oh, probably felt each other so for like for like cool. months. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, my favorite song would be like, "Can you pretend like airplanes in the night sky were like shooting stars?" Did you see a mean playlist like mean? And yeah, like she's a... like, she's like, this shit's mean. I know. I, like, I realize that after I see yeah. it. I don't yeah. use that, but I understand some people do. You listen to a mean playlist, yeah? Or it's like, so I thought she meant like Slipknot. I'll be living in living a big, in a big old, old city. city. You know, it's my good... friend. <laughs> um, in middle school, we used to make like music videos. Yep, like we're just lip sync, whatever classic. Yeah, we do that. Yeah. Um. And me and my friend made a song, made a music video to Mean by Taylor Swift. And, like, we're just so petty, passive-aggressive, like, making it about one of our friends that we were mad at. And, like, wrote, mm. her, wrote her name, like, super small on a font in the beginning. Like, just so petty. Yeah. That's crazy. That's really mean. I remember okay. one time when I was, <laughs> when I was in high I school, <laughs> I had a fight with, like, my best friend. Dan? Daniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan Corp. Yeah, you met Legend. him last weekend. Uh, he's, like, the man. And we were, like, inseparable. And then we had, like, a fight. And I posted... A picture oh, God. with my other friend Elliot, like heart grid post on Instagram, and I captioned it, "I hate family reunions," which is a a line a lyric from the Kanye West song, "Real Friends." Damn. And I felt like, wait, you were, was was he in the photo? No, no, it was like me and my other friend, and I posted oh. a lyric from yeah. that song, and uh, <laughs> I was like. I thought it was like subtle, and then like the first comment was like another lyric from that song from like another one of my friends. I was like, oh, yeah. he's gonna immediately. What What was the fight about? The fight Actually, was I probably shouldn't. Air I, no, I'll tell. I'll you know what? I'm gonna air it the fuck out right now because <laughs> honestly, it's been bottled up for eight years now. Uh, Get it off. Ian your said, Daniel said that he didn't know if he was gonna hang out with Ian in college, and I told Ian that. Or something. Oh, yeah. So Daniel was mad that I had told Ian that. But in my defense, Ian... He probably wanted to just branch no, out. No, Ian had asked me. He was like, is it, like, you, is it, is Daniel, like, I think, or like, he had said something like, I think Daniel's saying that they're not going to hang out with me in college. Like, yeah. do you think that's, like, has he said that to you? Like, he, like, teed it up to where it was he either lie to <laughs> Ian. Wait, eight so, years so, ago, you were like... Okay, no, it was, what, six years ago? It was, like, oh. junior or senior year of high school? Like, you're thinking about college when you're 14. That whole time you were telling that story, Lauren was like, what? Yeah, one, <laughs> two, three, four. Uh, I was probably 17. I'm 23 now, so six years ago, yeah. But anyway, I told, I decided not to lie to Ian, and I just told him the truth, and Daniel was mad that I had told him because it fractured. We were still, like, friends in high school. He was just, like, yeah. planning to stop hanging out with him, I guess. But, Which is also insanity. Yeah, my whole take was, like, I you were what you wanted me to lie for you you know what I mean like you gotta own up if you're not gonna hang out with Ian then you gotta own yeah, up. Why are you already planning ahead of time who you're not gonna? He was trying to branch out once he got to school. I understand. No, I he, understand. no, he wanted to hang out with. I mean, he they like all my friends went to the same college. Every CSA? single one of no University of South Carolina. Right. Like right. literally every single one of like my top fifteen best friends <laughs> all went to. Yeah. Except, like. A handful, but should we just talk about our friends? The whole this guy. Yeah, Lauren, I mean, I think we could break this down. Yeah, this guy <laughs> that we're talking about, that Will's talking about, <laughs> was the most fun person I've ever been around in my entire. So we're at the party. We're at this party in Gainesville, at this bar, and Dan is like completely fine, like definitely drinking with us, but like not anything over the top. Yep. And I was like, "Yo, do you want to go to this like next bar soon?" He's like. Yeah, for sure. Completely sober. And then, not completely sober, but by the time we left the party, it's like the drunkest human being I've ever <laughs> seen in my entire life. And he kept like running into oncoming traffic. Like, I'm not like, like somehow just like dodging like moving cars. And, and oh my God. Will had a great line. He was like, 
You, <laughs> well, it's like a bit. It's like, oh, hey guys, Daniel found the oncoming traffic. It's right over it's there. It's right over. Daniel what? swears the oncoming traffic's right over there. Yeah. And Dan's like splattered on the on the wall. <laughs> yeah. He kept running into, and we'd like, be like, Dan, we Dan, we <laughs> we check if anything's over there, and he'd like run full speed into like tree like. <laughs> Clusters of like bamboo trees and what? dive into high. It was insane. He was like diving into bushes and you come out and be like, "Yeah, I think there's ancient artifacts in there." <laughs> he uh, it was great. He jumped into this patch of fescue and a full raccoon <laughs> ran <laughs> out. <laughs> Fescue's like tall <laughs> grass. Okay. Um. All right. That sounds fun. He was awesome. Yeah, what was that fun. last pitch? I mean, feel like we. <laughs> no, no. This part of this episode is great, actually. But I think it's good. Feels all over the place. Um. Yeah. What. Oh, that was Tallulah's yes. time to travel. So it's amazing. I oh, I think yeah. that's genius. Let's yeah. hear the third one. I, I usually sit. I usually sit and listen to the rest of the song, for the record. Same. I would. Just or get or I get to my destination. Like if I'm driving home, I'll circle around my block. And I'll yeah, that's crazy. Do I you ever? Do you ever? Uh, do you ever listen to a song? No, I'll just keep it going. What? No, never mind. I don't even want to talk about it. Say it. L. No. I it was dumb because I realized you guys all have definitely done it. What? It was just gonna be like it was just gonna be like, that song was good. We should start that one over. But then I realized that's like the most human thing. Hey. Actually, no. Did you get me? You two don't start of these? it over. Yeah, you asked no, for two. No, I'll you asked Christ. for two. Did I? Yeah. Well, I said you want two pinks and you go, pink me. I'm the witness. I thought you meant two pinks like you were one of them. Oh no, I'm a green. No, this is dope though. You're Cosmo, I'm Wanda. Other way around, actually. Yeah. I'm Wanda. No, I'm Cosmo. I'm Cosmo. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm Cosmo Kramer. Next. Hey, what's Jerry Seinfeld? All right. <laughs> this one, our third pitch for the day is from Kara Wilking. Shout out, Kara Wilking. Shout out, Kara. Um, her pitch, she says, it's an electric car that hacks into the commu- computer systems that control traffic lights. You put your destination into the GPS, and the mm. car connects to the lights ahead of time and makes sure that they will be green when you get there. Obviously, not everyone can have one of these cars because every light cannot be green at the same time. So they're very expensive and only for the 1% of the 1%. What? Uh, I love it. But I'm, I'm I wish it was for... Extremely classic. I wish it yeah, was I more for the one. common man. Yeah, I think, um, I think maybe it's like a lottery. Or it's like if you're really good that week, you get one. Lottery would be cool. I like the idea that just all lights are green now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we're high level. We can... We don't we can need yeah, we'll figure... What if we just? I don't like that only rich people can do it. I don't want that at all. Yeah, I mean, sh- you, you had me until it's only billionaires. This podcast takes off a little bit. Maybe you get me on your side for this, but uh, yeah. for right now, I feel like I'd be on the wrong end of that. I feel like all green all the time would work somewhere not Los Angeles. Well, Lauren, everyone, all, all right, all I'll be green the first all. to say, what is up with that LA traffic? Not even just traffic, just the drivers. I want to rip their heads off. Oh, here's sorry. here's what we do. Boring. Sorry. Here's what we do. That those are our playmates. But those are prospective playmates. Every every <laughs> every intersection, there's just one side that goes under and one side that goes over. I don't know why we haven't been doing that for years. But what if you want to turn? Wait, what? Fuck, forget about it. Say Fuck that? you. <laughs> there's like an on ramp. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, so there's just hills everywhere. That's how highways work. Yep. <clears throat> But every street is like that. It would be I saw insanity. there was like that one and en- cool. there was that one engineer. Cool. Lauren, can, no Lauren can put Lauren can put the graphic right here. There's a there's an engineer who created a way to get through intersections with zero stopping. And Lauren can put the graphic right here. I'll send it to her after. What can you do? You know? okay, no, 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 it's just, just a it lot up. of turns. Yeah, just put it up here. Just put it right here. Just here. We'll get, move this for a second. Yeah, put it right there. Okay. Kind of <laughs> drop that sign, Lord. Her precious sign. Well, don't show the people how it gets on. That's private technology. Lauren, blur that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, wait, you guys. The pink matches your drink and the green matches. There we go. There we go. All right, should we pitch each other? Look, should we hold them up? <laughs> oh, God, it squeezed so hard. <laughs> what? Why would you do? What would you? Oh, crud! Are you gonna keep it upside down? It's gonna yeah. bother my brain a little bit. Um, what's Thanks. the? What was the purpose of squeezing it in the first place, Willie? To get attention. All right, <laughs> you guys want to hear my first pitch? <laughs> yep. I got I got prep school for babies. Oh. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> when they're when they're born, and they're in those fucking really annoying like crying and shitting their pants. <laughs> time Mm -hmm. you ship them off until they come back at the fun age where now you get to have all the advantages of having like a cute kid but you don't have to like clean its ass and like listen to it fucking cry all the time Mm -hmm. okay 
What age are you taking it back at? I'd probably take it back the second it can poop in the toilet. Okay. So they potty train the baby. They potty train it so and they're they like not raising your child. Yeah. <laughs> Do you raise it from like the point okay, so let's say let's say you raise it from four on. So like they don't have any they're not gonna have any memories from babies aren't sentient until they're like three or four. So Yeah, no, I like it. But then again, oh. you're missing like the cutest stages of a little bit. Go see it. That is Parents Weekend and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> parents Weekend. Parents Weekend. Okay, and it's like I, a giant tailgate. Yeah. Wait, this should be a movie. This should be a movie. Oh my God. I like that one. I like Thank that. you. I like, I like that. It. Do I go now? Who else is going to go? Will Will's like evil twin trying to trying to sneak onto the podcast without us noticing. <laughs> okay, I've got the cleanup you cabinet. Kick me so hard. <laughs> I was freaked out. I'm sorry. I actually didn't mean to. Did I hear you? No, no, no. All right, I got the cleanup cabinet. All right. It's a. It's here's 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 what I'm cutting out. All right. Think about it. You you dirt. You get your dishes dirty. You load them into the dishwasher. You wash it, then you unload. It's like the two things that are like the worst. That just aren't fun are loading the dishwasher and unloading the dishwasher. I feel like this happens. My underwear, bun- my boxers bunch up every time we're on a podcast because I cross and uncross. Okay, like Willie, so can you start over? Okay, I've got the cleanup cabinet. It's okay. a, a cabinet dishwasher hybrid. So you, you don't have to load the dishwasher and unload the dishwasher. You just put your dirty dishes <laughs> right back in the cabinet and then you close the door and click a button and it washes everything in the dishwash <laughs> in the cabinet and then that's you open fantastic. the cabinet back up and there all your dishes are clean oh that's sick. that's fantastic is it but they have to be made out of like wood or sorry they have to they can't be made out of wood anymore they have this lining they're wood exterior but the interior is lined with plastic with plastic not metal i feel like a dishwasher Wait, is plastic dishwasher is definitely metal. What do you mean rack wood? is metal i feel like there should be no wood anywhere the exterior is wood, so it still has a nice wooden finish, so it doesn't look out of place in your kitchen. Mm. But the interior is whatever. You, I feel like the interior of, of dishwashers are definitely metal. Stainless steel? Okay, it's that then. Fuck. Jesus. Stainless steel. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking shit. Okay, um, fine. It's metal. Whatever. It doesn't matter what the inside is. No, that's uh, cool. that's Steam. fantastic. Then I, I just, we need that here. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you a question? The problem is that... Yeah. <laughs> what do you do with them until all the dishes in the cabinet are dirty? <laughs> I think you just, I think it's just really wasteful. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think you just have to run it every night. Like, you, you fill up the sink, you put them in, and then you have to run it. And it's like some cups that are in the back just get washed like a thousand times without getting used. But yeah, I mean, in theory, you'd only need one cup, one dish, one tray, one mug. What tray? One one plate. <laughs> yeah, what <are> you <laughs> I like the idea that every time you cook, you get like a barbecue tray. <laughs> well, you um, can have different cabinets, like your the ones that you're actually going to use every single day, and then the ones that you'd never touch. No, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't. Let's not get. We're high level. Remember, let's stay. Let's stay high level. All right, I like it. All right. Uh, what's the worst? What do these things all have in common that sucks? Being in the middle of a stadium, being in the middle seat of a plane or the window seat of a plane, being uh, at a play where you can't get up until act. Pee, you gotta pee. Gotta pee. All the fucking time, gotta pee. No one lets you fucking pee. Lady in, lady in, the, wind, lady in the aisles pretending to be asleep. I did that to a woman on the plane. I felt so bad. I was, I was already half asleep. I was to the point where I felt like I was gonna not be able to fall asleep if I got up and helped her, so I just didn't move. and just made the woman on the other side get up. What do you mean? Wait. Like, we were in the middle three. It was like uh, three, 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 and we were in the middle. I think that's okay. These are called cool catheters. We're, we're, we're taking away the stigma of catheters not being cool. These ones have, like, flames on them, so you can, like, wear them on the, on the window seat of a plane, and no one's, like, judging you. You don't have to get up. You can wear it in the play. You can wear it to the stadium, and you can just pee into your catheter without anyone being, like, is that guy wearing a catheter? And they're like, yeah, but it's like, it's got like graffiti letters on the side, so it's kind of swaggy. It's badass, yeah. Yeah, or it's like black. I like that the it's like cool cat too. It's like cool catheter. It, it, cool cat header. Yep. Yeah, I think that's great. I think that uh, <laughs> seems like you guys don't like it well, at all. I just wouldn't want pee like. Not. Well, you remember my. I had my I had the yeah shoes, the shoes did. that fill up Fuck. with pee. I didn't think about that. It's a little derivative. Well, that's it is derivative of that. 
Uh, sorry, I just like. Just no, 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 go. No, I want to. Let's give Lauren the floor. No, I just zoned out. Lauren hates poop pee, and Lauren hates any pitch that I have that has poop or yeah, pee it's in like, it. Poop pee, come. What? <laughs> what is your problem with them? They're funny. We're guys. We think they're funny. We're guys. We're guys. <sighs> All right, should we do characters? We haven't even not yet. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right, what do you got? Um, Uh, Wait. No, I was just going to give one more comment about that. Let's hear it. I didn't didn't dislike it. I just, I personally don't want that on my body. No one's going to force you to have it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just giving my input. Well, you (laughs) didn't hear my business plan. Forcing people to have it is. Oh, that's like. It's like phase four. That's. (laughs) Well, we're not. They don't know about that yet. Yeah. Right. Dude, we just had a Zoom call with a Will Ferrell impersonator. What? Oh yeah, it was so really, like really funny. YouTube thing we're trying to do it was hysterical. This guy looked—he did look a lot like Will Ferrell. It's awesome. He, he kept being like, uh, we would be like, we were trying to like kind of haggle him down. His his original price is like five grand. We're like, all right, like like we need to like be able to pitch this well. And he was like, I've done a bunch of work with Brent Rivera. We're like, okay. And he goes, he's. He's like, he's on the Forbes top 10. It, yeah, he said Brent Rivera's on the Forbes top 10. And we're what just like, top 10 mean? what? Top 10 cringiest top influencers? 10, top 10, uh, top 10 loses. That's so, uh, no, no, we're just, it, Brent, no. Brent, if you're listening. If you're listening. We're just joking around. We don't hate anyone. We just love you too much. That We're, we're so, we just love everything. Okay, I got another pitch. Uh, I got the <laughs> word vester. Okay, this is this is like a whole this is like a game changer. All right, it's a whole market where you can invest in words and phrases. <laughs> like like if you had bought if you had bought early on Riz, you'd be like yeah. rich right now. Oh my god, yeah. And so okay. and so like or like selfie like the guy who the guy who like there's yep. there's like people out there that give like speeches and it's like yeah like yeah he's one of the first guys to invest in selfie like you yeah, know what I mean? yeah, he's like yeah. a guru like uh it's like a whole free market of dude he invested in eclectic in 1842 <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude yeah dude bought pantaloons Fuck. before the big uh yeah anyway that's basically the idea that guy that guy bought steamboat in 1812 <laughs> yeah before they didn't even, even exist yet. They didn't have steam yet yeah. <laughs> uh that's so i would you, they should do that. Like, there's no reason. It's all. It's just as made up as the stock market. Yeah. It's definitely. A, yeah, you're right. I, if anything, you could. It would just be so funny to hear to be talking to a guy who's invested in like really wacky words, and he's like trying to p- push them. It's yeah. like in Mean Girls when they're like Gretchen Fetch is never gonna. The, the girl's trying to make Fetch a word. Mm-hmm. She's like, that is so Fetch. Yeah. And they're like Gretchen Fetch is never gonna fucking. Well, that's happened. what I'm picturing. Is like you'd have to like get your boys together to be like, all right, what word? What word are we gonna let's all buy? And let's all. What word in. would you buy now? Uh, bazinga. Yeah, <laughs> that's due for a do for a comeback for sure. <laughs> Lauren, what what word uh, would you buy? Trying to think. Come back to me on that. I don't know. Right now. I'd buy a uh, cart cart carks carks. <laughs> <laughs> do you meet carks? Yeah, you know. Yeah, carks. I know carks. Um, Star- starch. Starch, dude. That's starch. starch. Like if something's just drying you out, you're just like, bro, that's starch. What were you saying, Scorp? Scorp. They, when, when Scorp enters the building, they go, Scorp. Yeah. Scorp. What Scorp's is one of Will's bands that doesn't exist. And when, <laughs> yeah. when they walk into the room, the whole crowd goes, Scorp. 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 All right. Um, oh, did I? Wait, did we already tell the Krung story? I don't know. On it's really pod? quick. Krum? Krung. Krung. Will and I are Will and I are sharing a hotel room a couple weeks ago, and, <laughs> and uh, Will looks at me, or no, I was like, "What was I complaining to you about?" You were like, "Dude, like I drank too much last night. Like I just feel like shitty. I gotta stop doing this to myself." Like, yeah, I was like, I was like, everyone, everyone's like, like mad at me or something. Yeah, like, everyone <laughs> hates me. Just like classic anxiety, and like, yeah. I didn't really know what to say. It was like a giant pause, and Will just goes. Krung, <laughs> and I go, I go, <laughs> I go, what? And he's like, I don't know, I just feel like I had to say something. And like, like, he couldn't think of a word, so he just made up a word to say in response to like a real, like, dude, I've, like, my life's crumbling around me. It's like, I don't know what, like, I was gonna be like, yeah, it is, or like, no, it isn't. <laughs> I just kind of said krung. It krung. just slipped out of me. I like that. All right. Krung. I got, um, 
it's an ejecting bike on the side of your car, right? So you get the second your car senses traffic, it just moves your seat out into like a sidecar. Yeah. You drive away and your car will follow you <laughs> to your destination. It's like a motorcycle or like uh, a bicycle. It's like a bicycle, so you can get away with like you can get away with like kind of going around the traffic. You can do that with a motorcycle. All right, well, then it's a motorcycle. How's your car gonna follow you then? Because it has a GPS. Yeah, it, it catches. Oh, it's not like, like it's, right behind you. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. It'll just like it'll like eventually. find you wherever you are. So oh. you can like just pull up to the bar, pull up to the restaurant, pull up at the coop or the pot. I like that. Don't fuck Jen. Fuck not. Damn, so I'm envisioning damn. like the little sidecar. Yes. Yep. But it, it it pops out. It's not there. You don't even have to do anything. You just like it sends this traffic and it just like moves you to the side. You're yeah, like yeah. still in your seat. It's like it would also work. Like, <laughs> you don't if, have control. If you're like it. in traffic and like the ice cream truck is like six cars ahead, you could pop out, go yep. get the ice cream, and come. Yes. Back. Oh, I like that. Yes. All right. Um, Wait, I got one. Little question. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever ridden in one of those sidecar things? Like, no. Like where they put the dogs? No, I don't think you? so. No. Oh, the way you set that up, I thought you yeah. were, you were going to say that you had. No, it just it's like an exciting thing. To think they of. sold yeah. sidecars for. Do you know like what a Honda Ruckus is? No. Is that the tr triple three wheels? No, I mean they no. They're two wheels. It's kind of like a hybrid between like a motorcycle and a moped. And everyone at school had them. And we were talking about getting a sidecar because it's like hysterical. Be so funny, but it's also just like. If you wanted to ride home from your buddy, like you just had to like hold on for dear life. Yeah. And like also you're driving through campus and like now everyone has seen you and Peter Buell ass to butt, ass to dick, and no girls want to touch you anymore because they're like Peter, Peter, he's, they'd be hugging. They'd be hugging, bro. What? What's the problem with that? What's the know. problem with going to ass to dick with another guy? <laughs> just, all right. You know what? This is... It's, <laughs> all right. Sorry. <laughs> um, all right. Do you guys want to do nights that don't exist or bars that don't exist first? Is that in lieu of my last pitch? Oh, I thought you, were, I thought you went first. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't do it again. It's fine. Just don't do it again. I'm sorry. I got the wobble proof chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This one actually makes sense. Like every chair... Should have its legs just built like the legs of a tripod, and then you can just like it when you're. Go I I I can't fucking deal with chairs that are like ooh, 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 ooh. like it actually ruins my night. If I if I'm at a bar and like I have to sit in a chair like that, I'm like I'm gonna go home. Opposed to just like getting a new stool. Yeah, but it's like sometimes the like there isn't another stool open or the other stools wobble or sometimes it's like the way the ground is at that part <laughs> is just always gonna be wobbly. So it's just like a like a tripod where you can just like unclip a thing and stick it out a little bit longer and even oh, it out. Oh, that's amazing. All the way legs are like adjustable, so you just it takes two seconds. You don't have to wedge a piece of paper under there. Everyone's happy. The bartender loves you. People are jumping up on the bar, screaming your name, chanting, <laughs> clapping, pouring you drinks, buying you shots. You're the man of the hour. It feels like your birthday because you got a wobble proof chair. I mean, dude, uh, yeah. that last part, I was in on it. Until that last part, and now I'm the most in I've ever been on. Boom. And it, I, I'm We're like, making millions. Sold me. Dude, people hopping up on the bar, chanting your name, pouring you drinks. This is so much, <laughs> such a great like, visual. Arm in arm, like, <laughs> oh, 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 for he's a jolly good fellow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Love it. I love it. That's showbiz, baby. Oh, wait. We didn't say which ones we were investing in. Um, oh, yeah. I want oh, the for, first one. For our, for our little people. Yeah, for, for our, our friends. Guys. For you guys. Who's getting a hat? Baby? I want... Wait, I forgot what they were. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. I want the music one. I want the music one. I... The, the oh, yeah, yeah. List, The timed... I'm going to go... Uh, I like Tallulah's. I think that was... What was mine? Oh. What was Pat's? Maybe. I don't know. Pat's was Notaflix. Yeah, I'm going Notaflix. And what's the other one? All right, I get um, the third one, which was Caro's. I forgot. But I already deleted the screen. They were all fantastic. Go they, to your they were very go to your recently deleted. I just I can't remember. Them. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, go to your RD. <laughs> oh, green lights all the time. Oh, you're taking yeah. That. But I'm yep. not one percent of the one. No, no they, hers wasn't green lights all the time. Hers was, uh, hers was like the car makes it whatever. Hacks and sure. All right. all right, let's talk about nights that don't exist. Nights that don't exist. All right, we're, we're talking gonna... nights as in like for the record, just want to clarify, nights as in like nights of the round table. Yes. We were doing medieval nights. I wanted it to be like nighttime. Nights. Oh, uh, like like Krung Day. No, just, Krung Daisy. No, just like like. Night. Oh, like ladies' night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nights that don't exist. 
I have Sir Barnes the Noble. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I was just thinking about how that like works perfectly. It's like a name yeah. and like a quality. Sir Barnes the Noble. He's very well read. Barnes it's also- the Noble? Sir Barnes the Noble. He's was it, very was well it supposed to be related to Barnes and Noble? Oh my god. Oh my holy shit, I didn't even fuck. think of that. My Wait. next one was Sir Borders the Books. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Borders. Yeah, what the f- Wait, yeah. Lauren, I, I like yeah. that Lauren uh, was like Lauren thought you blame, just landed you can blame on the Democrats for that. Wow. Yeah, thanks, Obanga. <laughs> you miss because you miss borders. <laughs> um he's really well read is a great is a great tagline. Wait, there's got to be some joke. Yeah, thank you. But there's some joke about like, like the guys who are who got rid like of the borders, open borders policies. Like, yeah, yeah, bring it back, open borders, like because they closed. Chad and JT did a did a similar one where it was like protect our borders, but it was like they were talking about like protecting skateboarders. Oh, that's right. That is yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Um, all right. I got Prince Grossafet the Nefarious. He is a prince. Okay. And he's up to no good <gasps> all the time. Um, he's always doing nefarious acts. I've never really, I haven't Googled what nefarious means. I've used it a lot because I know like how to use it, but I don't, yeah. I couldn't give you a definition. Nefarious. Like we're doing, we're doing nefarious Dr. things. Dr. Nefario. I think that's Sup- what. Super villain that doesn't exist? No, that's the, that's the assistant in Despicable Me. Nefarious. Uh, the guy makes like the, what fu- it, it's like, it means wicked or criminal. Yeah. Bingo. He is fucking wicked and criminal. I like that. All right. I have Sir Vincunt. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh! There you go. Say it one more time with the people at home. I have Sir Vincunt. <laughs> Slay. All right. That's, <laughs> that's the one. When um, I was laughing to myself earlier, and you're like, is it, is it a night? I got Wilkins Perth of yesteryear. <laughs> He his his heyday his prime is is l- long past and they they still let him come around but it's gotten to the point where where you know he's kind of holding the team back. That's okay. He's giving it everything he has, right? W- Wilkins' birth of yesteryear. He's just he's living in the past. Yep. Yeah. All right. I have Sir Gorlunk, father of children. <laughs> <laughs> this is a guy who like I love it. He like became a knight, but like there wasn't really anything like remarkable about him. So when yeah. they were come up with this title, they were like, "What do you put like Sir Gorlunk? Like, there's got to be like a tagline." And yeah. they're like, "I don't know. He's got a couple kids, I think." It's kind of like Red Balls, or what was your guy's name? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like like he <laughs> he just didn't really have like a. a that name. is funny. Father of Sir, father of children. Sir Gorlunk, father of children. Sir Gorlunk, father of children. <laughs> I got wrinkles. <laughs> He's like a rat knight, um, and. He can like get into the way like every castle that they siege, like he'll just go he can just go through the keyhole or like under the, the door pipes. and like yeah. unlock it for them. I like that. That's good. I mean that's that is like an asset particularly during a siege that you're gonna wanna have. Yeah, I every siege I'm doing, I'm like, I wish we had like a small Dude, like rat named Wrinkles. What happened to dudes like sieging and shit? Like now it's like we'll just like tweet and go on Snapchat, like Men used to men used to siege, men and now we siege. now now what are you having for lo- like what are you having for lunch today? Legitimately, I I, I don't know. Um, Emily's mac and cheese. Yeah, now we now they fucking have podcasts and eat mac and cheese. Now they have podcasts and men used podcasts to podcasts are cool though. Podcasts are men cool. used to siege. No, I love podcasts, but like they were not they were not podcasting. Dude, I siege. never I've never listened to podcasts. Really? Ever? Really? Which is just funny, I guess, because I have one. That is but, funny. Yeah. All right, what do you got? All right, I have Sir Benedict, harvester of grains and seeds and things of that nature. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, uh, he doesn't really sound like a knight. He sounds more like a farmer. So that so this is uh, this is a guy who was like who was like a farmer, but he was like like he's really vital to like their food supply. But he <laughs> he wa- he has like big ambitions and like he wants more, but they're like. If we lose him, like we're gonna lose our food supply, so they're gonna. They're, they gave they're, him knighthood. They gave him knighthood and like gassed him up, That's like really as funny. that as part of his title, so that he would never stop. Does he go him. on missions? No, he's just a, like a farmer, but like he was gonna stop farming. So they're like, no, no, you're you're a knight. You we need you're one you. Of us. He's it's, like he's like beans from uh, Even Stevens. I feel like you keep saying beans from Even Stevens. No, like the sixth time you said that this week. 
Really? Yeah, last week you were talking about Beans from Ian Stevens. Yeah, he's all over my fucking... I've never even seen the show. He's just all over my For You page. I've never seen it either. I, there was one where he... I There was an episode where uh, Shia LaBeouf's character tells him like that he's now one of the guys because he helped spy on the girls, and then they kick him out, even though he's one of the guys. That's kind of, Yeah, I mean, that... I got brogged in the progressive. Oh, he uh, he was like the f- healthcare. He, yeah, he was the <laughs> first guy um, to have kind of like similar views to like the modern day Democrat. But he was in medieval times, and it was like, whoa, this is groundbreaking stuff. Yeah, they hung him. They didn't. <laughs> they didn't like. They didn't they, like. Um, they, they did not when like. He brought up single payer healthcare. They shot him dead. Yeah, he he proposed. The, he was actually the guy that proposed gay marriage, <laughs> and they fucking stoned him. The Greeneth New Deal. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right, what yeah, do you that's got? Like a funny character. <laughs> There's like so many different things you could do with that. With uh, Brog and the Progressive. Yeah, yeah. Just like old, saying, yeah, he'd okay. be like. Uh, He'd be like, no, no, stop taxing us without representing us. Yeah, or it's like Medicare for ye <laughs> or something. <laughs> All right, lay it on me. All right. Uh, I have Sir Tanley. Just oh, of, okay. Sounds yeah, like yeah. certainly. Mm. Sir Tanley, you must be kidding me. He's like, I am. And and don't call me, <laughs> don't, don't call me. Shirley, don't call me kiddingly. <laughs> don't call me kiddingly. <laughs> Sir Tanley, you must be kidding me. I am. I am. Don't call and don't call me, don't, and don't call me Sir Tanley. Don't call me kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got Edward Longleaf. I like that. He was fucking token that shit, dude. And and like he do. He sleeps through a lot of missions, but he okay. he's got that bag on him of uh of Longleaf. Really and good. he's just keeping the boys fucking relaxed after a siege. I like that a lot. Post siege, the boys are chilling. E E double L, that's what I call them. What's your dream siege circle? Uh, what is circle? What's the circle part? Like, like who are you sieging with? Oh, who am who am I trying to siege with? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take. What's the What's the name of the guy who does the voice for Finding Nemo for Marlin? Um, you told me once. Yeah, <laughs> I want that guy. <laughs> I would go probably the guy from the guy that voices Crush. Oh yeah, yeah, or the guy from the Crudes. <laughs> um, the Crudes is suing us. Oh yeah, did you hear that, Lauren? We got a lawsuit for getting sued by the Crudes because we use like a clip in one of Rusty's reviews. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, the yeah. Crudes is suing us for like a million dollars. Like the Edge is freaking out about it. You're kidding. I'm. I swear Being to God. dead serious. What? Yeah. Yeah, like we I mean, I don't know about you guys. I don't have a million dollars. Not yet. I mean, if we Wait, get like that's insane. A few more sayings clips. Really. Yeah. All right, should we do bars that don't exist? Ale- yes. Oh wait, by the way, Alexander Gold is Nemo. Alexander Gould. Alexander Gould. I've never Where did this guy go? He's only 29. Why does that make no sense? It doesn't make any well, sense. I feel like he should be like 40. Well, oh, oh. He's talking sense. about he's the person that voiced Nemo. I thought you were talking yeah. about the guy that voiced uh Yeah, Marlin. I was um, looking for Marlin. All right. That's fine. Don't worry. About let's it. do uh, let's do bars that don't exist. Albert Brooks. Albert Brooks. Yeah, that's his thing. All right. All right. Bars that don't exist. Third time's the charm. Bars that don't exist. I have good time O'Leary's. I, I want to go there. Yeah. Doesn't that sound sick? It's. Uh, what are you doing over there, Lauren? No, I. It was an accident. <laughs> Lauren always has something to crinkle. Yeah, the crinkle, <laughs> the crinkle, crinkles, and crumbles are insane. <laughs> um. So this came from my dad has nicknamed my. Like alter ego when I go out, good time Charlie, where like I think I have a lot more money than I have, and like I just am like just kind of spending up a storm, good time Charlie. And I was like, well, good time Charlie sounds like a good bar. And Skylar goes, good time Charlie's was a bar at his college. He went to Michigan. There's there's one in Ann Arbor, and he wow. was like, he was sick. Did your dad go there too? No, but uh, cool. so I had to change it to good time O'Leary's because I found that out. F- 15 minutes before we started recording. Well, cool. um, it's an Irish pub, and everyone just fucking boozes their little balls off. I like I that it. a lot. <laughs> All right. I've got draft dodgers. It's yes. Draft is spelled D-R-A-U-G-H-T, and they only served they only served cans and bottles. 
<laughs> Wait. Like you don't draft beers like D R A U G H T. Yeah. So they're draft dodgers. So yeah. it's only cans and bottles. Do you know what a draft dodger is, Lord? No. It's when World War Two and Cheeto, World War One was happening. You know, or, or not necessarily those two. Any war. Wasn't there only a draft for those two? No, they drafted for Vietnam. Okay, for, for whenever there was a draft for the war, mm-hmm. there were draft dodgers who would get out of it, and people were very, very, very like, not fond of like them. Like mm. they would say they had like some injury or lie about something to Got it. avoid the draft. Um, I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What if I I kind of like I like draft beers more than bottle or cans probably. Yeah, but this place is only for bottles and cans. That's why it's called Draft Dodgers. Okay. Oh. I got. <gasps> keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> no, not your only pair of pants. You know what? <laughs> what are we? <laughs> oh. I just got physically assaulted on camera. You know what the best part is? Those are technically my pants. No, we said we weren't going to bring this up. Oh my gosh! You, did you guys see that? I specifically wait, what, told you not to bring that up. Why did? Me. Wait, why is it a big deal? Why can't I only have one pair of pants, and I told her that in confidence. I, <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. That actually could have hurt you. Yeah, you could have. No, she's wearing my, glasses. Well, you I kind of expected that my you would have dodged, and you kind of didn't. You kind of felt like. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I got. H- I got HR. I'm going to HR. Please. HR's sick today, actually. Yeah, HR's <laughs> not here. We called Edge, asking him for five grand. He was like, for what? <laughs> yeah. Um, feral. Okay. Catch. Oh. Throw, it, throw it back at me. I'll dodge it. Catch it. I got, I got Gringotts. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a, no, no, it is Gringotts. So uh, you walk uh, in, yeah. you walk in and all the, uh, all the servers are the goblins that work at Gringotts from Harry Potter. I and you that. can like take that, train like all to each each booth is is uh a a um a vault a vault and you take the thing there they'll be like they'll be like lamp please no you, those guys yeah i hate them why you they're love chilling. them they're terrifying remember they were on emily's computer yes yeah they are terrifying i don't want that to be my server no they're like nice ones what? they're chill as hell and if you blow if you put some stuff in their nose they'll do whatever you want them to like, <laughs> is that true doesn't bellatrix do that shit Bellatrix, Lestrange, yeah, of the Lestrange fortune. Yeah, um, I actually he, don't recall. She like they make him. He like smells something, and then he's like, "Oh, I will show you the." Bell. Oh yeah, yeah, I thought you were. I thought you were making her cocaine. Or it's not or actually Bellatrix. It's someone. Dis- it's like Hermione disguises Bellatrix or something. Bellatrix Lestrange could fucking get it. Look up Bellatrix Lestrange. Wait, Lauren. Oh wait, do you want to see on the TV? No, we know what she okay. looks like, but she's fucking bad. All right, I'm gonna go. I've What's got her name? Bellatrix Lestrange. You Harry Potter. People ask me what my type is. My type is Bellatrix. <laughs> really? Really? No. Uh, maybe I'm like thinking she was hotter. Than She's me. like uh, disgusting. I don't know what you're talking about. She's like the gross. like baddie with like the black curly hair. Yeah, she's not hot at all. She's like, gross. She's very interesting looking. Like she's like, she's, like she's, intentionally she could be a off-putting. Model. She could be a model. I think she's all right. What do you got? Pint condition. <laughs> so it looks like mint condition, but it's pint condition. Pint. Pint, yeah, but it's. It would be pronounced pint condition. All right. It's really new. Everything's <laughs> sterile. I got the precinct. I like that. You say we're, going, we're heading down to the precinct, and when you walk in each night, there's a new mystery to solve. Oh, I like this. Like, giant board with, like, yarn connecting things, in, and, like, you walk in, and, like, already a heated investigation happening, and, like, you can either join in or, and be part of it, or you can just sit, drink, and watch. Either way, we're heading down to the precinct. I like it. Yo, let's go get a couple beers at the precinct. And then if you get too drunk, there's a drunk tank at the precinct. That's awesome. And that's just another club. That's great. Yeah. It's yeah, that's awesome. It's I, I like the idea of like being underage trying to go there. Yeah. I mean there are no real cops there, so But how would you know if there were? You wouldn't. Lauren, would you head to the precinct? Can you describe it again, please? Nope, I can't. You can watch it back later. Sorry. No worries. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got Lang Low. This is the one that I actually spaced out. It's called Lang Low, and it's like, what are you getting into tonight? Uh, I'm Lang just laying low. low. So it's a way to deceive your friends mm-hmm. or family and to think. You know, yeah. If your mom calls you, it's like, what are you doing tonight? Laying Low. Heading to Lang Low. And I just said Lang Low. Yeah, where are you going tonight? Just Lang Low. And all the drinks are triples, and they don't tell you that. <laughs> Um, were you at that place in, were you at Mondays with me in Wisconsin where every kid we talked to was just yeah. like, 
Yo, if you order a double, like, they won't even give They'll it. They'll laugh at They'll you. They'll fucking laugh in your face, dude. And it's I like, was like, yeah, for sure. Like, whatever. It's Yeah, there's no way it's that strong. I went there and had two drinks and was, like, fucking hammered. Yeah. Wait, why? Meaning that just they're so strong? Like, literally, the like, you're sh- like it is 90% double? alcohol. Like, yeah. there's, I don't know. There's no way they're making money. Well, no, what is this place? Where the, is it? It's, it's called, called Mondays it's in Madison, Madison Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh. Double was saying, like... They opened and they were like around all like the cool bars and they just like didn't have that much to offer because it's kind of like a dinky little spot. So they were like, oh, yeah. how do we compete? And they're just like, all right, we're just gonna make the drinks strong. We're as just fun. gonna make them strong as all get out. Yeah, and they have like popcorn, I think. Hmm. Okay, I've got. Wait, which one did we just do? The precinct. You just did the precinct. That's what I'm saying. I, okay, yeah. How many have I done? Three. I don't know. You just did lane. Yeah, though. I've done three. All right, I've got. Oh wait, wait, you no, did. Ju- yeah, yeah, you did just do laying low. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I got this one's a club. Oh. A club. A club. It's called disappearance. I like it. And you walk in, and you just fucking. You're not on planet Earth. It, you walk in, and the, you know, and there's like, you know, there's like a, like, <laughs> like a smoke machine above you, like for like DJs. It's like. Tsh, tsh, tsh. Yeah. When you walk through the door, it's just like it's just like Molly <laughs> or something. So like you walk in, and like everyone's just rolling. And it's like they, they shoot drugs into you. No, no, it's like like they tell you ahead of time, but they're like that mist is Molly, so you like don't walk through it or like walk through it. And like that, the only way you can get into disappearance is if you disappear by taking so much Molly that you're like not really there. Oh my god! And it's like <laughs> well, I'm really doing the beats. So you should do the vocals. <laughs> yes. And then it's just like, pull me out of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, what? this way sounds sick. Yeah, disappearance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it might even. Do you know where I got that from, Lauren? Um. Uh, Percy Jackson. Nope. It might even. <laughs> Wait, where did you get? It might. Even... Oh, 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 oh. Just that the Lotus. Uh, no, I was. I'm obsessed with this new Lana Del Rey song. And it's oh, how to disappear? How to disappear? And I go, how would I disappear if I wanted to? And just like, probably open a fucking bar called it. That's cool. Probably yeah. just open a fucking club called a it. Club. I love that you just discovered it. it's such a yeah. Good I found the song last night. I listened to it album. probably thirty times. I I've never really gotten super into her, but I, I went sure. down a Lana Del Rey rabbit hole last week. Yeah, like, just like on Reddit, just reading all this shit about her. She's Lana Del Rey makes incredible. me want to have like an alcoholic boyfriend. It's crazy. <laughs> it's insane. She's like talking about how like all the. All the other guys like lie to her, and like this guy just like like cracks another beer and pretends mm-hmm. pretends that he's still here. Like he's she's she's like glorifying this man being yeah. like just blatantly like hammered and like not present. Fun oh. fact about that album like cover art: the guy on it, Rusty, is Jack Nicholson's grandson. You already, didn't know that? Already googled it. I mean, oh, you already knew it. I was like, who is this ha- handsome devil? Well, it's funny because what? I just found that out. This girl, Devin Lee Carlson, yeah, she's she lives in LA. She's just like a fashion girly, whatever. Make wildfire phone cases. They're dating now, and I like would see him all over her stories. And I was like, why does this dude look so familiar? And then I realized that it was him. I looked him up just being like, who is like her. Like, this must be her boyfriend or something. But it's because I thought all the songs were about this guy. It turns out it's just Jack Nicholson's grandson. Yeah, random dude. Duke Duke Nicholson. Duke. Wait, the Norman fucking Rockwell one? Yeah. yeah. He has he has crazy eyebrows. Or, like, really, like, strong, bold He's eyebrows. He's hot. Yeah. Interesting. All right, what do you got, Willie? Uh, I only got one more. Oh, she has a song called Venice, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Is that about Venice? This Venice? Yeah, kind of. It's pretty good. Um... <laughs> I've got hot shots. <laughs> this is a first of its kind bar where all the shots come out piping hot. <laughs> they are unbelievably hot. Like, so much so that you don't even really care about the taste because you're like, ah, oh, ah, oh, and it torches your mouth and body. Oh. oh. Like sake. What is the... It's not really great. It's just like a novelty thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if there was a bar where that was a thing, like, you'd take your buddies there and be like, all right, we're going to do one hot shot. That'd be like on the yeah. bar crawl. Yeah, like, the first like, stop right, on the yeah. bar crawl. We'll do hot shots, then we're going to get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Like, okay. You, know, um, you don't linger, per se. Question. I like I like if you it. take enough of them, you know when you, like, burn your, your taste buds off with hot cocoa, and then it's like, yeah. they're already gone, so I can kind of just, like, exactly. fight through it. Like, after the first hot shot, are you just, like... Good to go? Or? Yeah, then it's like you could do shots all night and you won't even taste them. Sweet. It burns. It 
literally torches your taste for eight hours. <laughs> All right, my final bar. I got Rasputin's Russian Pub. That sounds fun. It is. Have you ever been to like Ice Bar? No. You ever been to an ice bar? No. I went to one in Amsterdam, and it's whack. Don't go there. Basically, the novelty is you go downstairs, all the drinks, all, like, the glasses are made of ice, and it's cold enough that, like, in there that you can, like, it won't melt. It's, like, a giant, you're in, like, a giant block of ice. And I was thinking, like, what if this bar was cool? And it yeah. ha- and it wasn't just, like, you're in a freezer. This one is, it's in, um... Give me the name. Where do they? Siberia. It's in Siberia. I was thinking like you would. Give me the name. <laughs> give, me, give me the name. It's in Siberia. So it's like kind of like a, it's like a who's who of northern Russia. Yeah. And um, it's very, very exclusive. It's like oligarchs, direct, direct descendants of Rasputin himself. And like maybe Russian, like former Russian czars. Um, they, then, they're the only people who can be there. Well, I mean, like, and then, like, Taurus. And then, like, us. <laughs> yeah, and then, I guess, us. Um, and it's all Russian-themed. It's all kind of Rasputin-themed. Oh, well. And uh, they only serve vodka. And you do that dance. Yeah. There was a salted man. He got get along. He was big and strong, and his eyes were flaming gold. Did you know he, like, like it got to the point where... Uh, apparently, like, he survived, like, eight assassination attempts. Like, people started to actually believe that he was, had, like, mystical powers. Invincible. Oh the only way they killed him was they threw him into a freezing river. If, correct me if I'm wrong, anyone. But, you know, like, I know it's something along these lines. But, like, they threw him into a freezing river, and they were like, all right, like, he's, like, for sure dead, but, like, let's shoot him a couple times. They shot him, like, eight times, and then he, like, survived that. It's bad. Hmm. Legend. It sounds like a legend of the. Pre-game. He also got poisoned like multiple times and just like fucking faced it. Wow. Yeah, I don't know anything about him. I have, yeah, no, I don't I have really? nothing to no. add. I don't know who he, he is. He was basically he was this like peasant from Russia and basically like convinced the Russian. I think it was Tsar Nicholas at the time, the second. Google that if that's correctly correct correctly. Google if that's correct. And uh, he convinced them that he was this mystic. Google Tsar Nicholas II. Tsars oh. of the C. Yeah, wait, what about it? Tsars with a T. Yes. What do you want to know He's about it? He's with a C. T S A R. I looked him up. What do you want to know? Uh, like if he was Rasputin's guy. Oh. Hmm. Was he Rasputin? I don't know what. what. Whatever. What? Google. He was, he was easily Rasputin's guy. And. Um, he just convinced them that he was this, like, mystic that could, you know, like, help them and predict the future. That's um, kind of yeah, they were, yeah, they were friends. Oh, he says... <laughs> they were boys. <laughs> oh, yeah, it says here they chilled. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I think, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Don't ask me anything. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that he, like, promised he could make... Like the, one of the wives just like couldn't produce a boy, like a boy heir, and he was just like, "I can make it happen," and not like by like fucking. I think by like praying on her or something, and I think it just happened. And they were like, "Oh fuck, we gotta just follow this guy." So he there. prayed on women. I think he did that as well. <laughs> <laughs> but he, um, he meant pray with an A. Look him up when you get home. He's not a good guy. I got one more bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's called beer to beer marketing. Mm. You really were going for the wordplay today. I don't even get what that one's based on. Peer to peer, peer to peer. B to B. P T P two P. Peer to P two P. Peer to peer. Peer to peer marketing is like is like a guy in Venice and a guy in Santa Monica at the edge of the pier, <laughs> <laughs> yelling no, like, pi- I mean, yelling like, business pitches. It's like when like, like those kids at your college are like are like sponsored by Red Bull. That's like peer to peer oh. marketing strategy. Did you go to did you go to BC with like Tony Hawk? I wasn't like <laughs> who, who, no, was, who was ever you know sponsored? Kids, like, dude, they would like walk around the dining hall with like Red Bulls and be like, Yeah, I'm a I'm a Red Bull I'm a Red Bull uh what do they call like it? Rep? Like, yeah. Student ambassador. Or, yeah, ambassador. Like Be Real had them and shit. We and had maybe kids. We were small enough school that We had kids that were we had like student athletes that were like rowback athletes and it was like yeah, it was like you play lac- you play Division Two lacrosse. Like, yeah, who? 
I'm not influenced by what you're wearing at all. I say. Well, also, it's like you're my buddy. Like I don't. I know a kid who committed to Rollins lacrosse. I just saw on Instagram. Really? Yeah, like a person I know is like little brother. What's his name? I don't know. I'd have to look it up. This is like someone I haven't talked to since. Like, it's just like a girl I went to like elementary school. Oh, with oh, that the I like girl. The, in. She the, posted like proud of my brother. Gotcha. Okay, I'm going down to. Uh, actually, no one, no one on the podcast cares about this. But no I, one on the podcast. No, we care about. It. No, no, I meant like like no one. Li- this is like us having a conversation that's like very specific to our. That's tr- life. that is true. Um, hmm. How long have we been going? One hour and five minutes. Oh, okay. Pretty well, good. we can wrap up then. But what I will say is that next week is Thanksgiving, and next week's episode will be coming with a big announcement that we well, can't share yet. Oh, really? But oh, you're yes, gonna, you're gonna want to take a big swig of this announcement. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna um, wait. We no, can't even. Yeah, what? We can't, I, don't be we legally at it, can't. Yeah. We legally can't. Cool. Well. We love you guys, and we thank you so much for tuning in. I am curious. I want to. I want to know. Send me a DM. How? What percentage of you are eating while you listen to this, or driving? Eating or driving? Those because are, I thin together. The only time. The only time I listen to podcasts, I realize this, are when I'm like, I've gone through a drive-through and I pull in, and I listen to a podcast while I'm in the parking lot eating, and I go, "What would I want to listen to if I was eating right now?" That's very specific. probably play date pod. Yeah, probably. I'd probably fucking play me it up. Mine is when I wake up. Cleaning. Getting You're cleaning in the morning? No, no, no. Okay, I just mean I when I'm waking oh, up, getting uh, ready, or I'm cleaning. Because like when you're cleaning or doing things, I yeah. can't watch, so I want to be listening to something. I get That's bored true. of music. Yep. I listen to history podcasts when I'm cleaning. History is dank? No. But I love Strider's podcast as well. Yeah. Um, I listen to a short history of. Hmm. I don't listen to podcasts literally ever. You want to go get lunch? Uh... I don't. Will you eat lunch with me, Lauren? Because what was you just about to say now? Um, I already ate. Cool. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm going to go get lunch. See ya. Okay. Are you still recording? Yeah. Dingleberries. Now that Rusty's gone, can we talk about his behavior? <laughs>